Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about something many of you have been asking me on a lot of my comments on YouTube, also on Instagram, about uh, Dodge's new jailbreak Hellcats. A lot of people are wondering, is it worth the money? What are those packages like? How fast are they gonna be? Well, today I'm gonna to give you my thoughts on all of that stuff. So hopefully uh, you guys find some value in that. If you're new to my channel, please do me a huge favor and subscribe. Only about 22% uh, of you guys are actually subscribed to my channel. And I've got so much great stuff coming your way this year so here we go So now I'm actually back at the house. And the first thing I did is pull up Dodge's website. And when you go on their website, there's actually a link to their uh, direct connection catalog. And this is kind of what everybody's been asking me about. Hey, you know, how much power are these going to make? How much is it going to cost? Is it worth doing? All that stuff. So I do want to give you my thoughts on that. And a lot of the information is here to kind of give us sort of an idea of not only how much it may cost, but also... Um, how fast these might be, obviously, once this stuff is installed. And I do want to talk about maybe some other things uh, that you may not think of when it comes to ordering this stuff. But when you jump into the Direct Connection catalog, it is pretty robust. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of information they put in this. I would highly recommend, uh, if you have not seen it already, to go in and just look at all the stuff they have here. And as you get into this thing, you start to see a lot of really good information. You start to see all this stuff on uh, on the drag pack. And the really cool thing about this is you can order a lot of the components you see on the drag pack um, directly from these guys, which is pretty darn cool. So if you want to order some additional uh, components for your Hellcat, uh, you can see that all here. And you see things like driveline parts, you see different crate engines they have here uh, that are available, and just a lot of different options. And then we start talking about the Hellcat Red Eye Stage Kits. Now, as you get into the uh, the stage kits, uh, actually they have something kind of early on here, and it shows you a little bit about the Hellcat Red Eye Stage 1 kit and then also the Stage 2 kit. And I wanna talk a little bit more about those, but it's kind of interesting because as you go a little further back in the catalog, you can see that uh, they actually give you more information about the same thing. They have a pre-stage kit, a Stage 1 and a Stage 2 kit. So I actually wanna flip back to those, and then we can talk a little bit about maybe how fast these will be. Now, as we flip back a little further in the catalog, here's where we start to get a lot of the pertinent information on the Red Eye. We can see that we have a Red Eye pre-stage kit. So uh, that cost about $1,200. And you really don't get that much for your $1,200. However, you're basically enabling a lot of horsepower for later down the road. So what do you get for your pre-stage kit? Basically, they're saying, look, this is the stuff you're gonna need to be able to do more to your car later. Well, you're gonna get your tuner. Uh, the direct connection tuner actually looks eerily similar to a Diablo tuner, go figure. And uh, you do get just an air filter, which basically is gonna do next to nothing for you. Um, I've already talked about that in other videos. And then of course you get a 180 degree thermostat. This is just like kind of your, you know, your stuff that you're gonna wanna throw in there anyway. If you're gonna do any sort of aftermarket things, you're gonna need these. And that's kind of what this is. So uh, if you jump up to stage one, then we start getting a little bit of a different story here. Uh, now we're going to jump up to 840 horsepower. And as we saw, this is basically just like on the Demon, right? I mean, the Demon made more power when it was on race gas. You had to have the, uh, you had to have it set up that way, right? With the right PCM in the car, all that kind of stuff. But here you're just tuning your PCM. And of course, it does say it's 50 state legal, but it enables your high octane functionality. That's really what this stage one is. If you want to run race gas, yes, you're going to make more power. And uh, this stage one, it's about $400, will actually enable you to do that. So the next thing is the stage two kit. And uh, everybody says, well, look, you know, I'm a little surprised it's this cheap. Well, we'll talk about that here in just a second. So the stage two kit is basically $1,200. And uh, you have to keep in mind, if you want to do stage two, you kind of have to do the other ones as well, right? You have to already have the device, all that kind of stuff. It says uh, in conjunction with the, the pre-stage kits, you already have to have that. And, and really with stage two, you're gonna start to see more power because now we're jumping up uh, on the pulleys. Um, I should say actually we're decreasing the pulley size, right? So this actually comes with a elephant pulley, uh, which is kind of interesting. It does say here with race gas, this will make 885 horsepower. So basically you're gonna make 
about an extra 90 horsepower on a red eye. And uh, basically what, you know, that equates to maybe say like a 285 pulley from Metco or maybe Grip Tech, somebody like that. Um, and uh, this is really made to continue to run both with pump gas or with race gas. And it says here on pump gas, it should make about 837 horsepower. And you see it obviously jump way up to 885 on race gas. But really that's the big thing with the stage two is you get that pulley. Uh, I don't really see much else in here. It says high performance calibration key code to unlock stage two. That's just kind of part of what they do. And keep in mind, these tunes are going to be just a little bit watered down because they want to keep them as safe as they can while making the extra horsepower. So there you go. It's not just $1,200 for stage two. Like I said, you have to have the pre-stage kit there as well. Uh, so do expect uh, you're going to spend some money now uh, on this particular package. So what does it all really boil down to? Well, if you want a stage two capable uh, Hellcat Red Eye, not only do you have to buy the stage two kit, which is $1,200, but you also have to have the functionality for high octane, uh, which is another 400. And then of course you wanna have your pre-stage, which is gonna give you all the stuff to even start doing this. So that's another 1,200, so about $2,800 not installed. Now do keep in mind that you have to have uh, all this stuff put on your car. So there's a labor cost to it. And you know, by the time you're pulling pulleys off and you got to get the belts and all the other stuff, uh, you just have to account for all of those things when you go to do this to your Hellcat. And it should be pretty neat to see what these run. And that's kind of what everybody wants to ask. Well, Racer X, how fast are these? Do you think you can touch into the uh, into the nines? Or, you know, how fast are these going to be? Well, the truth is, on the Stage 2 kit, will you be able to get into the nines? I really don't know. On a Red Eye, I mean, you're making more power than a regular Hellcat quite a bit, right? I mean, you're basically making an extra, what, 90 horsepower? And uh, so that car is already faster. They're saying it runs 11 one uh, in the quarter mile from the factory. At least that's the stuff I've seen even on Dodge's website. Well, obviously this is going to make it faster, this engine calibration. I don't know if they're even touching the shift points or anything like that. Um, do I think this will go into the nines? It's not very likely, at least in my opinion. Uh, when I ran a 285 Metco pulley only on my Charger Hellcat, I was able to pretty regularly get into the uh, into like the mid tens. I ran like a string of 1050s, uh, and that was even on a Nitto tire. And of course, uh, now we're talking about a car that comes out with even more horsepower, 90 more horsepower than that. Uh, I ran a best in super low DA of like a 1015, and that's in a Charger. So, do I think? it can be touched with the stage two can nines be touched uh i think somebody probably can do it you're not going to go deep into the nines on a stage two guys it is not going to happen but with the right da the right driver and uh maybe a few other little supporting mods here and there i think somebody probably could get into the nines uh with a stage two kit especially maybe if they took some weight out of the car um certainly the stage one I don't think so. I think in the stage one, even in a red eye, uh, that would probably put you firmly into the mid 10 second range. But uh, it will take a stage two, maybe with a few other goodies, a really good driver, a nice sticky track to probably get you into the nines with that much power. But I do think it is capable. So something interesting to ponder there. Now, one other interesting item of note is when you go a little further back in the catalog, it talks about your Hellcat uh, pre-stage kit and your stage one kit. So uh, when you look at this, once again, $1,200 for your Hellcat pre-stage kit, it looks basically identical to the Red Eye kit. When you jump over to the stage one kit on the regular Hellcat, it says it basically makes 757 horsepower, which is about a 50 horsepower difference because you do get the Hellifant pulley here, but it doesn't talk about uh, race gas at all. So it doesn't kind of give you that higher race gas calibration with this stage one. And I don't see the stage two kit listed here immediately. So I don't know if they're going to have a stage two uh, kit available, uh, which obviously is your higher octane kit uh, for the regular Hellcat. So definitely an interesting thing to be aware of there. Now, I do also want to make a quick mention of this because as you really get into the catalog, it's really exciting stuff for me to look at as, as a car nut, as a gearhead. I mean, they have so much stuff here to order and Dodge has already done a lot of the legwork for you on, on these parts, right? I mean, I'm sitting here looking at red eye piston and rod kits. I mean, they've got camshafts here you can order. They have performance exhaust and it's not just for the Hellcat. I do want to stress that they have a lot of other stuff here that's compatible for your 5.7 guys and your 6.4 guys out there 
as well. They even have Durango stuff on here. They have performance driving schools. Um, I'm looking at just, if you just want an air intake for your Challenger, they have it here. And as you go on and on through this uh, particular uh, catalog, you start to see just how much stuff they have here. That's Mopar backed stuff, 50 state legal. I mean, a lot of different things to order here. Um, and so it may not necessarily be a great thing for a lot of your aftermarket folks, like, you know, your JLTs and your K&Ns and all those guys and everybody that makes the aftermarket stuff for these, because now you have it coming directly from Dodge and uh, tons of air filter options here. Lots of different stuff for, like I said, for all different trim levels. Um, there's suspension bits. I'm seeing uh, strut tower braces. There's all sorts of neat things on here, suspension stuff all over. Um, so go take a look at, um, the direct connection catalog because uh, you can just order all sorts of neat things here and it may not necessarily be the cheapest thing I don't necessarily know uh, when you compare this to say maybe from another aftermarket manufacturer how much the parts actually are is it worth it all that kind of stuff so maybe that's a topic for another video but what I will tell you is uh, it is neat to look at these different stage kits for the Hellcats I'm told they're also going to have some stuff out there for your 392 guys uh, in order to uh, kind of you know keep those folks out there happy as well um, but you know, will, will a stage two Hellcat red eye get into the nines? Um, I don't think that's going to be a regular thing. I think it can happen as I mentioned guys, but I think it's going to take, like I said, a lot of different factors to make that happen because you're only talking really about two, maybe two and a half pounds of boost with that elephant pulley. And, uh, that's not a ton of power in order to take a car that runs 11, one in the quarter mile all the way a full over a full second faster into the nine. So let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think a stage two uh, Hel uh, Hellcat Red Eye will run at the track? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. So until then, Racer X.